Hi, and welcome to the basics of electronic news gathering. I'm Natalie Bombach, a survivor. And so am I. I'm Rachel Flores. We learned a lot this semester and we want to share it with you. I'm Beth Kanegi. Over the next five segments, we present electronic news gathering for dummies. When you begin planning your video, remember to find your focus. What's your video going to be about? Video can help you illustrate the most complex topics, but only if you know what message you want to convey or story you want to tell. Focus on a simple statement or subject. With your focus firmly established, you can go ahead and begin your research. The base of knowledge you acquire from researching will provide a background from where your informed questions and interesting answers come from. You may use the internet for research, but don't forget to check out old scripts and news stories. Collect and use background from a variety of sources. You may never focus a camera on them, but these dry facts, told in the proper context by the right individual, can and will illuminate and illustrate the focus of your story. Here's an example of a television story that includes many different sources, but shares important information in an intelligent, understandable way. Monopoly is a game, but a DUI is not. The bottom line in DUI is if you're asking for cost, generally you can't afford it. So that's the bottom line. A first-time offense can cost between $1,000 and $1,500, <coughs> plus fees including booking, lab reports, and attorneys. Just don't take the chance, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's... You can't afford it, literally. Financially, you can't afford it. Ryan paid $18,000 from missed rent to fines for two DUIs and 10 months in jail. Some students could pay even more. If you're in ROTC with a scholarship and get a DUI, then... More than likely, you're going to be done and end up paying back your scholarship. Um, at that point, it would be based on how much the Army paid you in scholarship would be the exact amount. ROTC scholarships for one to four years could range from about $8,800 to $35,000. In Monopoly, you can get out of jail for free, but in reality, a DUI is far from it. Natalie Bombach, SUTV News. Writing for video is different than writing for any other medium. It must be clear, concise, and accurate. The best scripts and news stories are based on the three Ds, data, diversity of sources, and documents. Use these as the foundation for a news story or a video package that is informative and interesting. Remember that good writing draws the audience in and good visuals keep them there. When writing, remember to write the way you speak, write an active voice, write for clarity, Stick to your focus. Don't get too broad. Remember, less is more. Keep tracks and bite short and to the point and link them together seamlessly. Most interesting pictures and sound should be first. Then organize your story and plan around that. Do research first. Know as much as possible about the topic. Remember to use phone, internet, newsroom archives, newspapers, library, people familiar with the subject. Write to your video and audio. Prove the focus visually, always asking, what is the story? Step out of the story and let the pictures and sound tell the story. The reporter is there to clarify and step in where pictures are missing. Tell a story you'd like to hear. Follow these pearls of wisdom and you will get the most out of every video shoot you do. Your best defense against shooting bad video is to be calm. It's easy to keep a level head when you've checked all of your equipment and make sure it's in working order. Here's a list of items to always have on hand when shooting a video. Make sure you have it all before you leave your office or studio. Batteries for cameras and mics. If they are rechargeable, make sure they have a full charge and always carry extra. Make sure the tripod is in working order. A tripod is essential for steady shots. Carry headphones, so if there's a problem with the mic, you can address it immediately. Bad audio can ruin some very good shots. While on the scene, remember to always be aware of your surroundings. You might be able to catch some fantastic video, or you could completely waste a shoot if you're not aware of the potential problems in the area. When you first sit down to edit your footage, remember to focus. Take a deep breath and repeat this statement three times. Final Cut Pro is my friend. 
In spite of its ominous name, Final Cut Pro is a fantastic software program. It helps you edit with precision and provides you with an opportunity to create super video productions. Here's a look at how you'll use Final Cut Pro in this class. Welcome to our basic Final Cut Pro tutorial. Click on the Applications folder on the dock at the bottom of the screen. Click on the Final Cut Pro icon to open a new project. Insert the tape to transfer your footage into the editing software. Next, click File, Log, and Capture. When the Log and Capture window appears, click the Now button and hit the Play button on the tape deck. Now you can sit back and relax while your video uploads. You can't speed up the process by fast forwarding. When you are finished, hit escape on the keyboard and stop on the tape deck. Close the login capture window. Now, click and drag your clip from the browser onto the timeline. To trim your clip, place the cursor where you want to edit. Select the razor blade tool on the toolbar on the right. To cut the video, click the razor on the cursor line. Click on the selection tool to highlight what you don't want and hit delete. Repeat the process for the other end of the clip. If you have two edited clips, you can join them together easily by right-clicking on the space between them and selecting Close Gap. To adjust sound levels, click on the Toggle Clip Overlays button, or what we like to call the Little Mountain button. Click and drag the pink line to adjust the volume. Down for softer, up for louder. Notice the difference? Remember to save your project to the scratch disk. To print to video, click File, Print to Video. Click the countdown button and hit OK. Follow the prompts to print the finished video to tape. Everyone, well, almost everyone who works with video has a blooper reel, a single tape that contains the best of their worst. We've combined the best of our worst and the best of our best to give you a better understanding of what bad video looks like and what good video looks like. Enjoy! Okay, enough of the Star Wars already. When you're shooting a package, always remember, shoot action. There's nothing more boring than static shots. And do I always keep sound cost. bites short. If your interviewee is droning on and on, so chances are your audience is asleep. Uh, first Always keep sound bites between 8 to 12 seconds. You can go to a couple parties, you know. You have the average guy, three or four beers, you're getting close to the legal limit. The bottom line DUIs, if you're asking for cost, generally you can't afford it. Framing's important. Don't let too much headroom above your interviewee, and don't shoot up your interviewee's nose. Always make sure the mic cords are properly placed. Here's an example of a decent headroom, lead room, and mic placement. Pan, zooms, tilts, extreme close-ups, and other unnecessary camera movement will not result in good footage. It will result in a seasick audience and a low grade. 
always keep your camera on a tripod. Look at these two clips. Which would you rather see? Remember to think before you stand up. Make sure you're relaxed and comfortable. Here Natalie looks a little like a deer caught in headlights. Her second take is much better. She looks natural. Now you're ready to get started on your own television productions. Good luck.